Previously on Big Brother, Willie targeted Dan and Boogie's strongest players. I nominated Kara and Frank for eviction. But he assured Frank he would keep him in the game. You're still good to stay in this house. I'm telling you, I'm going to get you your votes this week. And he went to work on his behalf. What's the difference between Frank and Kara? Kara is definitely putting some of us up next week because Dan's going to make her. When paranoia got the best of Britney... I noticed that my picture has a keyhole next to it, as do the other coaches. And I start to think, maybe the coaches are going to be entering the game as players. She told Willie her theory. I think we're going to go to evict somebody, and Julie's going to say, whoa, everybody, surprise, the coaches are going into the game. Worried the house guests were being used as pawns. If the coaches come back into this game, they're definitely not going to be looking out for our best interest. Willie tried to unite the players against the coaches. There is a possibility that them coaches are going to come back in here and play this game. I'm just letting y'all know that. That's a strong possibility. And Frank worried that Willie may have hurt his chances to stay in the house. I hope that powwow didn't hurt me. Nothing's changed. We have to stay legit with each other. So he decided to cut ties with Willie. At this point, I don't think I can trust him, and I don't think he's somebody I want to work with. And all hell broke loose. You gonna chop my head off too next week, Willie? Yeah, I told you, I said, we'll work from week to week, and then you're gonna come throw me in the dirt? At the first live eviction. Kara, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Frank lived to fight another day. Congratulations, Frank. You are the new head of household. But before the night was through, another twist shocked the coaches. The coach that wins this week's coaches competition can either keep one of their players safe or trade one of their players for another coach's player. Tonight, the house reaches its boiling point, and one player completely loses control. Would you say? Would you say? Would you say? Oh. It all happens right now on Big Brother. a vote of five to three. Kara, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Don't ask me how, but somehow I managed to stay in this house this week. I'm definitely counting my blessings right now, because if it would have been a tiebreaker, Willie would have sent me packing out the door. Frank staying is definitely not good for me. I made some mistakes in this game, and I'm just gonna have to deal with them. Originally, my players wanted Frank out, but after Willie's big blow up, I got to thinking that it's better to keep Frank because I know him and Willie will go after each other and that keeps my players safe for a little bit longer. I voted to evict Kara because Kara would have just kind of slid under the radar for the rest of the game and that's kind of the role I want to play so I did it for my game. As a coach, I'm down to one player in Danielle. That's it. If she goes up and gets voted out, I'm out of here. But the thing is, Big Brother's a lot like poker. As long as you just have one chip, you have a chance to win the whole thing. So I'm still okay in this game. Hey, gotta read the pokers right now. We're all, we're all we got. The vote tonight wasn't so much about Kara versus Frank. It basically turned into the house versus Willie. The house decided that the best chances of getting Willie out of here this week is to keep Frank in the game. Kara probably wasn't gonna dare to go after him, but you know who will? Frank. And you know who's gonna be right beside him? Me. All right, now go out and get this HOH. Go out and get it. The correct answer is guilty. Congratulations, Frank. You are the new head of household. 
Hey Frank, I'm kind of confused. It seemed like you were pretty much out the door and you had a big fight. I don't really remember what happened the rest of the week. It was so crazy in here. Well, I think we got all of Janelle's players to vote to keep me. And then I went outside and won HOH. At this moment, I, I really don't want to talk to anybody. You know, it's just like the worst person that could have won, you know, and it changes on week to week out here. So, you know, I'm going to stay fighting and I'm not going to give up. Hopefully, you know, I can win the POV and then um, win the HOH next week and everything changes again. Being teammates with Willie while he was in HOH was a great thing. He had the power, I had the power of veto, we were both safe. But I'm really debating whether or not to break my alliance with him this week. He's such a hothead and he doesn't treat people with respect. I know that you like Willie, but like, he needs to go. No, I mean, I understand. <clears throat> it just sucks that he had to be so selfish. I had an alliance with Brittany, but you know what? She can't control her players. And Willie's antics made it impossible to keep that alliance together. It just sucks because he, if he wouldn't have acted that way, you really f***ed up. I know. Like it was just like one thing after another. He's a bully. His whole house wants him out. I know. And I can't blame them. Willie has went on a terror spree through the house. Everyone in here hates him. It's embarrassing. I wholeheartedly regret choosing him. And now I'm going to pay the ultimate price for his bad attitude and for his poor behavior. It's a disaster. I don't even want to speak to him. This week, what you got to do, you got to get closer to Janelle's team. That's our safest play. Most coaches might be panicked right now being only down to one player, but I'm a very positive thinker. There's always a way out of every situation as long as you believe you can get out. I feel extremely confident that Danielle at least has one more week of safety. When they start going to war, they're going to need you. When you got to start making ground on Janelle's team. Um... Dan is right. They're going to need my vote. And as long as I can float until I need or have to win, I'm doing really well for myself. I just want you to know real quick, like, I'm just a loyal person. It was not impersonal. I know. Against you. I just want you to know that. I know. We really wanted that a little alliance going. I want to stay loyal to Willie, but I got to look out for a number one, and that's me. I know Willie a lot of things, and I'm sorry about that, for real. He's putting us in a really bad situation just because of his antics. Like, he played too hard, too fast, you know? However, it's the name of the game, right? Don't worry about it. I can work my magic with Frank. I think I can convince him to just stay away from me. In a good way. Okay, thank you. No worries, JoJo. I hold no personal grudges against anybody. Yeah, no, I know. Thanks. Who wants to see my HOH run? Let's go see it, man. Oh. Seeing the HOH room is the last thing I really want to do. I mean, I'm not a fake person, so it's hard for me to do this. All right, let's do it. Oh, boy. What? Shut up. Oh, oh there's my Julie Chin shirt. Pictures. Shut up. Look how short your hair is. There's the mullet action right there. No way. Look at that mullet. Frank pulls off a mullet pretty well. He's got great bone structure for it. The whole the power of the hair. Having my own HOH room is definitely a surreal moment. The main reason that I'm so happy right now is that I've been on the block for a while and I, I made it work. I pulled it off. Wow, Bugs, you made out too. Yeah. Not, too bad that I wasn't a real mini bar. Balance bars, they know who I am. This season, as a coach, if one of your players wins head of household, you also get to move into the head of household suite. Oh, yes, pictures. Seeing the picture of my nine-month-old son, Brady, meant the world to me. Is that you? No, it's my baby. Oh, oh my God, he's so cute. Oh. In here, you're deprived of everything in your daily life. And to see my son, it kind of put my mind outside of this really super intense game. And I look forward to seeing him soon, but not too soon.
Strawberries and raspberries. No way. The XX. Oh. Willie was feasting on a plate of crow served cold. A little sushi action. Oh. You could cut the awkwardness with a knife. I'm not gonna miss the HOH room. Um, I'm not in this house to be comfortable. I'm in this house to win a half a million dollars. So as long as I'm in the game, I'm happy no matter where I'm at. I'm going on down. All right. What's up, baby? What's going on? Nothing good. It ain't no big thing. Why are you so egotistical? All I want is that you see what you've done. Yeah, okay. I made myself look bad going around saying, he's a nice guy, he's nice, he's really trustworthy, he really is, you guys, I, I mean, he just let it get the best of him, da 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 Now who looks like the fool? Me. I tried to defend you for days. I didn't say I you I made had to. myself look bad I didn't going say you around saying, would you be quiet, please? As much as I tried to control him, unfortunately for me, he's a raging lunatic in this house. Nobody wants to be attached to a sinking ship, and that's the best way to describe Willie in this game right now. This is your whole problem. You only think about yourself. This is a you team, win one person POV. game, not a team game. If this you win is POV, it's gonna cost Shane or JoJo. Listen, I came in this game to play this game by myself. I didn't come here to play with a coach. If I stay in this game, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm not gonna listen to Brittany. I think that uh, we will have a relationship in here, but it'll probably be a distant one from now. Why you're dogging me out, treat me like a piece of Cause the problem is you and we both know it. You can't forgive me about something so simple as saying oh something. Oh my God, it happened 24 hours ago, relax. You can't forgive me. It's been a day. I'm the one going home. Because you can't keep your mouth shut to save your life. Literally, to save your big brother's life. Anyway, do whatever you want to do. But if you think the, if the problem is me, then get rid of me. Can you honestly look me in the face and tell me that you don't think you're the problem? I know I'm the problem. Okay. I don't want to argue with you, Brie. You're telling me that it's an individual game, so go play it. I'm here to tell you you're doing a terrible job. Yeah, I'm a big boy. I think I can take care of myself. Our team is screwed. You know what a weenus is? A weenus. This is part of your elbow. I was like, oh, what? Does this hurt or tickle? Ah. That hurts? Yeah, that hurts. Or does it tickle? Are you serious? I'm gonna bite you. <laughs> How, yeah, let me do it to you. Does well, this hurt or tickle? Well, you gotta do it harder than that. I was doing it hard. I think it's adorable. So all the craziness in the house, it'd be nice to see a little love blossoming. Um, what? Well, no? like that. Like, like that. <laughs> when you go soft, it tickles. When you dig in. I didn't dig in. There's definitely a flirtation between Shane and I. You know, Shane is very, very attractive. His personality is definitely my type. His body is definitely my type. He's definitely the one chasing me, but I don't mind getting chased. Woo! Okay. You cheat. How? Danielle is an absolute sweetheart. She's got the Southern Belle, you know, the charm, the sweetness. The long brown hair and a Southern accent gets me every time. Yeah. yeah, it's my shoulder right there, yeah. If something happens, it'll be because it's real. If things keep going the way they're going, it's possible. Ooh, I can't believe I'm saying that. You win. Hey, Brittany. What's going on? Everybody's playing games in the backyard. We're rehashing everything. Still, it's what's such a the bummer the coaches challenge thing. Why are y'all worried? Well, there's just lots of different scenarios, you know. I don't think any coach would be willing to trade though, except me. Do you? So at the end of the live eviction show, Julie Chen comes with some bombshell information. For the coaches competition this week, the winner can choose to keep one of their players safe or swap out one of their own players with another coach's player. Who would you want? I don't know, that's a really hard question. I've been trying to think about what makes sense. I think I speak for Dan too, you know, we're not obvious players. As much as it's rah, rah, rah right now, 
against you know who, would you consider it being okay for your game to maybe not do the trade, cut your losses with Willie, or the attention can shift quickly to Shane? My fear is that if Brittany wins the coach's competition, she's gonna saddle one of us with Willie. If I can convince Brittany that if she trades Willie, Shane can become the new target, maybe if she wins, she won't make any trade at all. Unfortunately for you, you have the jerk, but you also have a big physical threat. You're basically suggesting that I shouldn't trade and just, just take and just know that one of my players is going home and do nothing about it. That's ridiculous. It's very clear that Boogie's trying to threaten me, but I'm not an idiot. I'm tired of Boogie treating me like I am one. We have the opportunity to trade a player, and if I feel the need to, and I feel like it's gonna benefit me in this game, I'm gonna do it. I, I don't wanna just sit by and say, oh yeah, I'll take a hit. I bet you're an awesome mom. <laughs> you miss your husband at all? Yeah. It was tough. I mean, it wasn't like last time you were here, you, you weren't married. No, I just had a boyfriend and yeah, we weren't like cares, that yeah. serious. It's like so hard now, because I'm married. I know, I used to be like people who are married and like, oh, I miss my family. I'm like, shut up and just play the game yeah. now. It's like. <laughs> it's so different when you're like 25 or whatever and you're like, I'm single, like, who, why are these people complaining yeah. about seeing their kids and family? Playing Big Brother this time is a lot different because I do have a family back home and I have a new baby. Sometimes I'm talking the strategy with people and sometimes I kind of have, you know, a little bit of a thought about my daughter, like, oh my gosh, I, I wonder if she's thinking about me right now. It's really hard. I can't think about that. Like, I'll start to get, like... Yeah. I'm not an emotional guy at all, but... Different. I mean, like, it, even though I haven't been gone that long, I just want to be a better husband yeah. to her. I mean, because, like, what if this was my life? Like, not this, but if I didn't have her, I'd be like, yeah. be done. Thinking about my wife Chelsea in this house is a total catch-22 because when I start to think about her, then I get a little emotional. I know my wife at home, she wants me to play this game laser-focused. It's very difficult. No tears from Dan. She would not want to see me cry in here, so I can't let her down. Yeah, things change. I know. All eyes are on you. I know. You know? I'm well and, aware. And the way you act right now is huge in how they're going to view you for the future. Yeah. If oh, you're the chill, fun Ian. I want to have a, like a slop date with Ashley, perhaps. Something like that. You know, something fun. Ian first came to me and said he wanted to go out on a date with Ashley here in the Big Brother house. He doesn't have a chance with that girl. Yeah, don't, don't you know, force anything. I know, I'm not, no, no. I had a talk with her, like, today, and, like, I we talked about, like, pizza the other day, and... Then I started giving it some more thought. Perhaps a date with Ashley could make him feel a little more relaxed in here and a little more comfortable, not only around girls, but around the whole house. I think this slop date has potential. I think she would say yes. I think it would be out of pity, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go to Ashley right now. Please. Mm -hmm. My name. Just looking for Ashley. Hi. Someone might want to ask you something outside. Hi. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not even here. Um, they've been egging me on about asking you on a slop date. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Would you be interested in doing um, that tonight? <laughs> sure. Okay, sounds good. Nice. Nice. <laughs> this comes out of left field, but I have a soft spot for the cute little nerdy guys with glasses, so I'm going to give Ian a chance. Your lady away. Are you here? No, no, you gotta pick her up. Oh, what? Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Let's go. Okay. Man, she is freaking beautiful. I mean, holy. Yeah, definitely the hottest girl I've ever taken on a date. What Good evening. We'll be back in soon with a couple of drinks. Perfect. Thank you. I try to go on dates whenever possible. Please close the door. 
<laughs> they tend to be few and far between because I'm I'm pretty busy in my regular life. <laughs> hey, you look great. Thank you very much. With that reminds me, I did uh did bring something for you. <gasps> oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it, it matches go, my it outfit. outfit. I love yeah. it. <laughs> Sometimes when I get nervous, I get a watering eye. Are you nervous right now? I was a little nervous, yeah. Oh, okay. What's your favorite course in school? Ooh, I really like uh, inorganic chemistry. Oh, can you please explain to me the difference between organic and inorganic yes. chemistry? Because I always think of like when I go to the farmer's market or the grocery store, organic. Organic means carbon. Carbon is involved, whereas inorganic is any combination of elements in which carbon is not involved. Wait, say that again. The date so far is going pretty well. She seems pretty interested in how things are going, so I definitely am having a good time. What do you want to make a toast to? Toast to Big Brother 14, hopefully a long summer in which both of us are here, right? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Cheers, Cheers to that. To that. I definitely think that a, a showmance can help my game, and I think that if Ashley and I played this out right, we could go the distance. In the game. <laughs> okay. Oh. Tell me what you guys have been thinking. We need to, like, separate the Lily. It's better for you to probably lose him and still hold on to us two or something at we're, least we're than have him here and constantly all three of us be targets. We're in this situation because of him. I like Willie as a person, but he definitely has a hot head. It's tough, but I realize now it's it's imperative to me that I have to work alone. Right now he's trying to be nice and to play the game, mm -hmm. but he'll lose his temper again. If there's a way that I can try to keep both of you mm -hmm. in the game this week, that's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Because I don't oh, think it's you. fair what's happened. No. I don't think it's fair to you guys okay. that Willie's actions are going to come back to bite you. I can't let him dictate my decisions. No. If I were you, I would just separate yourself. It's time for the coaches' competition! It's time to battle. Throw on your fresh gear and meet us in the yard. It's competition time. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, dang. Balance oh. demon. Oh, snap. Oh. Fat stacks. Oh, sick man. I walk out into the yard and I see this awesome urban setup. You've got graffiti on the walls. The 90s hip hop reference is kind of lost on me. I was like five at the time, so I know very little about 90s hip hop. Please welcome to the yard, Diggity Dog Dan. Welcome to Detroit. Jazzy Jammin' Janelle. I walk into the backyard in this ridiculous outfit. I don't understand these pants. I definitely don't understand my Aladdin vest. I don't know if I'm supposed to be a genie or a waiter. Whoever wins this competition will have the power to keep one of their players safe or trade one of their players for another coach's. The winning coach will also choose the four have-nots for the week. Here's the 411. You need to transfer all your cash from one side of the balance beam to the top of the pedestal on the other side. But peep this, yo. You can only take one brick of cash at a time. Now be careful. If your cash hits the ground, you're out of the game. If you touch the ground, you're also out of the game. The first coach who transfers all their cash from one side of the beam to the top of the pedestal, then slides back and hits their button wins. Are you ready to play Fat Stacks? All right, coaches, get in position. The stakes are really high for today's coaches competition. Willie has been rubbing everybody the wrong way in this house. Everyone wants him gone. 
I don't know right now what my very best move would be, but I know I need to win this competition so that I even have the option to make a move. I don't know where Brittany's head is, but she's in a bad spot right now because I don't know if she'd want to get rid of me or save me. I really, really need Dan to win this. I'm his only player. I'm a huge target. Dan wins. I'm safe for a week. Even though I only have one player left in this game, I still have to throw this competition because Danielle and I have built a weak persona and we've got to keep that up. All right, coaches, on your mark, get set, stack. Although these 1990s rapper pants look comfortable and stylish, they're anything but. These rapper pants are constructed in a way that you can only move side to side in them. The stakes are huge. I mean, I could be losing one of my best players and be given Willy if it went badly enough. Boogie, you might want to do them vertically. See how Brittany's doing them? As the competition starts, MC Boogie definitely didn't have his shuffle down. I realized that uh, staying low to the ground was important. Now, staying low is something Brittany can do a little bit better than I, considering she's about eight inches shorter. Other side, you know, it's too, gonna be too top heavy. Even him out, you know? Leave the middle empty. There you go. Who's in the lead? Brittany by far. Gotta pick it up. How many? She's way ahead. She's got at least 10. I'm just really in the zone. I know that my life is riding on this in the house, and I'm, I know I need to win. You know, here I am playing against these big competitors. I thought I could never win anything. This might just be my chance. Brittany jumps out to a huge lead like an Arkansas hog running from the farmers. You're like a freaking flying squirrel. It's like a jackrabbit is on that balance beam, back and forth, back and forth. She was doing really well. Good job, Brett. Good. Take your time. You're still in the lead. Brett, you're still in the lead. About eight times ahead of you. Brittany's killing it. I'm trying to keep my composure on the bench, but uh, you, you know, inside I'm just like, oh my god, this is it. You know, I'm gonna be safe. I, I'm not gonna be nominated. This is the best thing that can happen. Come on, Dan. You're gonna have to go a little bit faster. Slow down. Brittany's out. Brittany's, Brittany's out. out. Brittany was in the lead, but she's dropped some stacks of cash, and now she's out of the game. Oh, I got a little too anxious, a little too eager, I guess. I went to grab a block of money, and they fell to the ground. It's like, you know, when you see it, like, fall in slow motion, you're like, oh, no. It's like, oh, my God, the worst luck ever. Ian, watch this physics-wise. It, it, it's your center of mass, you're, you're getting more and more lean in tower. So you want to move the center of mass towards the fat stack graffiti. As we all know, if you want something to balance, the center of mass of that stack has to be above that center pedestal or it's going to topple over. Janelle and Boogie, y'all are like tied. I kind of did expect it to be down to me and Boogie. I knew that I was closing in on his lead, and I was nervous. I wanted to win it. Janelle has four bricks left, and Boogie's down to two. I love seeing Janelle head to head with Boogie. I want her to be Boogie so bad, because I want it to be safe. Mike's last brick. Get to the button, Mike. This is all you. Looking like cash money on these bills. You jumped off before you hit the button. Hold on, you might, I don't, you, you hit the ground. What a perfect scenario to play out. As he is saying one of his stupid egotistical lines, turns out he wasn't listening whenever they were explaining the rules of the game. Boogie, you're out! What an idiot. Unfortunately, I tried to put a little mustard on my hot dog, and even though I had my entire fat stack built and stable, I went to hit the buzzer and I put my foot on the ground. Now this is the final break for Janelle. Janelle wins! 
Once again, Boogie's ego gets in his way of a win. The comp queen is back in the house. Yeah. Pretty mm. good. Janelle, you have earned the right to save one of your players from eviction this week. Or trade one of your players for another coach's. Well, I'm definitely not trading because I love all my players so much. And this week, because she was so amazing, Ashley, I'm going to save you. I'm going to need Ashley in this game. I wanted her to focus and bring her a little bit closer to me. So I kept her safe this week. <laughs> You're welcome. Decision time, Janelle. Which four players will be have-nots for the week? I'm definitely picking Willie, JoJo, Shane, and I'm sorry, Ian. You gotta take it again. You're good. You want the BB experience? I love it. Sorry. Right. Janelle made all of Britney's players have nots, which I wasn't surprised when she picked me and Willie to be have nots. But like, that's really messed up that you put Shane again on a have not. Like seriously, you're just a mean bitch. You really are. She awards the have not. I'm feeling the heat off the guy to my right, man. He was not pleased to hear his name. Holy smokes. Sorry. That means Willie, Shane, JoJo, and Ian, your have nots for the week. Rice pudding. Oh, nice. America has voted for a treat that you can enjoy anytime in addition to slop. Have not? These pork rinds and puddings are just for you. Woo! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> really good. This is good. Oh, ew, no. Pork rinds are nasty. They do have pork rinds in New York at the delis <laughs> where you get your cigarettes and your coffee, but they're gross. Nobody eats them. Pork rinds and pudding. That sounds good to me. Pudding has to be one of the best have-not food choices in the history of Big Brother. I eat it, my grandma eats it, my long-lost cousins probably eat it. Pudding is a great food. Thank you very much, America. You're the coolest! JoJo. I'm good. Well, I'm good for a little bit. I'm good. I... JoJo. 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 No. Come here. Willie's trying to rally up the whole team together, the good old bunch. Uh, absolutely not. Please stay away from us. You're embarrassing. As far as we're concerned, you're dead to us. You gotta quit talking to him. To Willie? Yeah. I know. He's freaking, when he tells you to come somewhere, don't go. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I don't deserve it. Do you know what I mean? Like, when, I can't. When he goes back there to smoke, don't go with yeah, him. Go I know. with Jim. I know. 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 I was thinking the same thing. Okay. I can't anymore. I'm not going down. All right. Like, you know? Yeah. I knew like that it was just not gonna be good to associate myself with Willie. All his little antics that he's going around doing. Jojo, I'm getting the heat off y'all. Don't matter. What are you doing? You're putting other people in jeopardy, and I'd appreciate it if you stop. I'm serious. Just stop. I'm not. I'm getting it off of them. It's my fault anyway. What's today? It's Friday. Friday? Okay. So, why don't you just relax for a few days? How about, well, I'm definitely picking Willie for slop. And Shane. And Jojo. Jojo. And then Ian raised his hand. What yeah. a good little team member he is. Awesome, hey, Ashley, want a necklace? <laughs> you want everybody to go down with you. That's, They're already going down with me. That's what's annoying. Well, quit dragging us further. If you want to act like that, go upstairs and act like that. Susan. You think I'm scared? Well, leave us alone. You think I'm scared, Brooke? This is so stupid. Like putting the target bigot on your back. Because now it looks more like you're with y'all together. I'm not. I'm ignoring him. I'm not doing this. Awesome. Here's, here's Willie right here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, my point is, they're blaming them for something I did. 
It makes no sense, and I'm about to square that up right now. He's, he's yelling. yelling. He's yelling. He's yelling. Lock the door. Lock the door. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Listen, I'm. I of last week, right? Yeah. Y'all ain't got to blame them. They ain't do that. I did it. They chose so, to stay with you, brother. My whole point is, I'm going to get evicted this week before I get out that door. Right. Just letting y'all know. He's had a rough couple days. I just can't. I'm like not trying to be a bitch, but I'm not going down with Willie. That's up. He's the one who had the power. You know what I'm saying? He was the one who's like, oh, this is what we got to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Well, like, why should me and Shane have to go down because of him? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Willie, I'm sorry, but like, I can't be like associated with you. In, in a way, you, you made your bed. I told you I said Frank was gonna get HOH. I knew he would if he didn't get out of here. Yeah. He's gonna win it. No, and, I was trying to get Frank out of here at the end there. It was just too late. Just, right, uh, I'm gonna go have some pudding. Yeah, eat your pudding. I felt bad for him, you know, because like I, if, I know if I was in that situation, I wouldn't want somebody to like just drop me. But at the same time, I'm not letting him take me down with him. another 10 pounds knows I'm gonna be doing this slop that's all I know cheers to another week Never seen a bigger group of in my life. Just leave everybody alone. Like, why can't? You, why? Because I'm not gonna go out like that, Britt. I'm not going out. You're like not gonna phone. go out like what with class? No, I'm not gonna go out with class. Well, I don't know why you have to put on this act. It ain't an act. I'm pissed. <laughs> you can't act this way in your real life. You, I do. You seen Janelle around? Janelle's upstairs. Bunch of he's in this bitch. You're the only I see, bro. What? What's that? What'd you say? What'd you say? Hey, What'd hey, you hey, say? Guys, come, hey, on. come on, hit me! Hey, hit me! Hey, hit me! Hey, hit me! What? What's that? What'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, hit me! 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 They're like actually fighting. What you say? Bring it up. Get a part. Willie, go to the back bedroom. Y'all coming down here for? Cause we can be in here. It's our house too. You don't own this place. I don't give Willie. You're a jerk. Joe, do not follow him. He hit me in the head. He hit punch. He hit head butted me. Stop, Whitney, stop. For real, it's okay. He needs to go. Oh. It's okay. I can't believe he just did that. He, he made charged this back. Me. Yeah, he did. Over okay. and over okay. and over. I'm done. I'm not talking to him anymore. No, we're not. Y'all don't leave here until. You're right. We get Will, it. thank you. Will he come to the DR now? Can I get you something? I'm okay, thank you. I'm just like... I'm so sorry. Sucks. Yeah, this is the beyond the game now. Listen, do you want a pillow? Do you want no, some time no, alone? No, 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 it's okay. I might go lay down in a bed or something. All right. Thank you, though. 
We're gonna go down for him. Probably. But there's gonna be nine of us at the end of week three. Yeah. What are you guys thinking? I had a crazy idea. Sorry. No worries. It's okay. I know you are game talking, but my feet are cold. What do you think they're gonna do, Brittany? I know you don't really care right now. Right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just didn't know if you had a theory or a house guests. <gasps> if you could gather in the living room. As you all know. Violence is not tolerated in the Big Brother house. So Willie has been removed from the game. When I heard the announcement that Willie was gone, I was immediately relieved. He's been nothing but a liability to me and my team. But from a game perspective, this is the worst thing that could happen to me as a coach. It just sucks. Willie is expelled from the game. I think to myself, he did it to himself, he deserved it, and he will go down for the rest of his life as the least dignified exit in Big Brother history. Willie walking out of the game was the worst thing that could have happened to both JoJo and I, and a real man would have stuck it out. Right now, it's the worst feeling ever. And I feel sorry for him because he had a one in you know nine shot at winning a half million dollars and changing not only his life but his family and friends lives and he chose to throw that away because of a bad temper the game continues on i have such mixed emotions i'm still thinking about my game um <laughs> willie man if you're out there uh, i pray you find peace you had a lot of things hit you downward at once but but please find peace, brother. Which house guest will Frank nominate for eviction? And who will win the power of veto? Find out Wednesday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother.